Welcome back, everyone. Man, this is like, no, this market is crazy. These earnings coming up. I was looking at some more Rocket Lab and everything. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to decide by the end of this next break. But let's go over to what matters more than Jacob's trades, which is uh, our guest Basil Chapman. Now you might be asking, well, Jacob, it's Monday. Why on earth is Basil Chapman on? Well, that's because we're still gonna have him on Tuesday, which we all love having him on there. That's because Basil is having, uh, having a subscriber webinar Thursday, November 14th. That is this Thursday. And that is only going to be subscribers to his opening call newsletter is right here in the Discord server. Now, if you have never subscribed to Basil's opening call newsletter, I strongly recommend it. I've not heard a single person ever have anything bad to say, only glowing results, especially when I recommend it to them uh, if they call in uh, to the office. Now, I will say that if it's your first time, you do get a 30-day money-back guarantee. For whatever reason, it just doesn't work out for you, so it is risk-free, but we really bet that it is going to work out for you, especially with this new webinar. It is going to be, again, this Thursday, November 14th, 4 o'clock to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so right after that day there. You had Sector Rotations, going to continue his new group's rally. Former out-of-favor big losers are becoming winners. Amazing weekly time frames to gauge intermediate-term trends. Excuse me, analyzing weekly time frames. Demonstrating the critical 9 by 14 moving average crossover, so much more. Chapman Wave technical tools. You got to get in there if you've never been a part of a Basil subscriber webinar. Well, it is extraordinarily informative. And additionally, when you're a subscriber to the opening call newsletter, you get access to all of his other webinars, which is just such a phenomenal deal. Basil Chapman, how are you doing? Hi, Jacob. How are you? Doing well. It's good to have you on. I'm glad we could uh, hear a little bit from you today. I know there's a lot of interesting stuff moving. Semiconductors are acting a little strange. I know that can sometimes be a bellwether for you. And I know we've been looking at the Dow recently. We've been coming on. Interested to hear what you're looking at right now. So there are a couple of things that I wanted to just uh, review because in, in, in July when I did my last webinar, I was looking also at sectors and stocks and what what was underperforming and what could overperform in the next uh, quarter or so. And so we were preparing and that's what we did. And we've been doing the same thing now. And as I've been saying to uh, on my show at 10 o'clock, the Tiger Technicians Hour, uh, this is a good time to sign up because I'm not waiting until Thursday after the webinar to start implementing these, whatever is appropriate right now, that's what we're going for because this is a really important, you can see this Dow, well, we're still, you can see we've got a, it says long right here, this is the low of October of 2022. 20, uh, we're still long that position, we're long uh, with uh, three times long as well, although you're never supposed to do that. We've kept that long position and we have trading longs as well whenever we can with the Dow. I love the action of the Dow, it's just so appropriate appropriate at this particular time for this particular phase. So I was talking to you the other day, and this is exactly what the type of thing that I'll be going through is to show how chart patterns, um, whether or not it's like a fractal of human nature, it's like a little, it's like a little chart formation mm -hmm. that forms over any time period, whether it's a one minute chart, whether it's a monthly chart, and it either expands or contracts, but it has that same uh, integral pattern. So you remember I was talking to you last week and I said the IYT, which is the uh, the iShares Transportation Average ETF, was breaking out in a pattern that uh, is traditionally called the cup and handle. I have another pattern called the cup and ladle. That's I love that. It's a way more powerful pattern. But the cup and handle, if you don't recognize as the handle, the little small handle is turning up, it, it's already getting a little late to get into that position. So I said patterns repeat over and over, and once they form, they form in unlikely neighbors. In other words, who would have thought that the IYT would have any semblance to uh, Bitcoin? But look at this. Chart on the right is the monthly. Look at this cup and handle. So um, we went along the um, IBIT, that's the iShares, of the of Bitcoin, I spoke to you about it. That was about a, a week or so ago, and we've had the spectacular move to the upside with Bitcoin at all time highs, and it was based on this particular pattern, the or the one that I like least of all, unless you appropriately uh, get into it. And you can see this cup pattern right here in BTC is the handle. So we are in IBIT, and the subscriber says, "Wait a minute, uh, where's the pattern?" Well, the pattern's missing. This is a derivative 
of the iShares, the iShares Bitcoin Trust, only came as an IPO uh, earlier this year. So you've got the part of the handle that really counts. So we are lucky. We 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 were long from over there. And look where it is right now at an all-time time high. Well, of course, it's an IPO. I'm not talking about the Bitcoin I, I, as an uh, all-time high. So that was one relationship, and this is the kind of relationship that I'm going to be talking about coming up. Over, in fact, I've started doing it, but I'll. I'll talk about it in greater detail when I do the uh, when I do the webinar on Thursday. Now, here's another one. I've been saying that the S and P, the S and P, the 500 has been leading and making all-time highs, but the IWM, that relationship of the uh, 500 S and P 500 to the Russell 2000, just like silver and gold, where they chase one another up, and then where they both made highs, they came tumbling down. So I'm anticipating we're going to see the same relationship here with the IWM that's going to go to its all-time high of 244.46. So we've been long the um, IWM, the Russell 2000, from the low that was made right in August, the very next day after the low at 196.60, we went long at 203. We've had a number of positions. So it's it's doing exactly what we were looking at. But wait a minute. Look, he has this cup formation. So I'm anticipating that it could be a cup. It starts to storm and it gets close to the uh, 244, 246 say, area. And then maybe it makes a handle. And that's what we'll be following. So I, this is the relationship that I'm looking at in the different sectors and uh, what we can look at in terms of how other areas can follow once the chart pattern is formed. So um, that was one of them. Then I was also talking to you about in the chat where we're always looking for a peak D. Uh, that's the fourth highest peak. Well, I had spoken to you a number, for a number of weeks about Solventum Healthcare. Uh -huh. And we've been long for quite some time now, since the 57s were way back over there in the daily chart. You can see that was in August. And then we took a little bit off when it got to the 73.40 area, the high. It pulled back and we added another, kept that now as a core and had a trading position saying, we want to see it go to a leg D. Well, it went to 76.05 about three weeks ago, pulled back. And yesterday I said, if it goes above 76.05, Take something off the trading position because that'll be leg D. And lo and behold, it got earnings and it had the earnings. It went to 77, uh, into the 77s. We took some profit and now it's pulled back. So these are the relationships that I'm going to be looking at. But most importantly, um, it's, you know, and we also spoke about Hood. You remember Robin Hood? Absolutely. And I said, There's a relationship there of, of Bitcoin. To uh, and gold, and I think Bitcoin is going to be the favorite for Robin Hood. Is he has Robin Hood at, a, at a, a recovery high in the 36s? We're in at 16, so we've got 100% profit. Basil, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., then also on Thursday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Thank you very much, Jacob. Oh, stay right there. If you're looking for potential trading setups,